I I like I don't know. I bought this little chain. I always wanted like a little gold chain. That's a nice size gold chain. It's yeah, I think pretty. It's, it I looks think it's good. flexy enough. Yeah, it's just Some, got a little cage. You know what I mean? Sure. I am gonna buy a big one eventually, like a rapper, like just fucking big huge. fat one. Yeah, and yeah. I and I will wear it to like a club one night and just whoa, let the ego come out a bit. But I feel like <laughs> I feel like I try I try my best not let to let the ego come out. Yeah, what's the ego? You know, like the ego, like your ego, like something. I don't know. I guess like it just all depends. <laughs> yeah, sometimes. Show your feathers. I want to show my feathers. I get it. I've never been like a nightclub guy, like to go out. I used to go with my buddy when we were younger and he started doing the videography and shit. But there was a comedy club down the street from like the club scene in Dallas. So whenever the shows would be done, whatever, I'd walk down the street, just dressed like just left Walmart or some shit. And I'd just help my buddy carry like camera equipment or just hang out with him, have a beer. And I'd, I'd see guys just flexing hard, you know, local dope dealers or guys that work mm -hmm. nine to fives, but they're in there just trying to show out, you know? And right. it's crazy. It's crazy that that's the place to, like, fucking prove yourself. And everybody wanted to be in there, man. Like, that club culture was fucking nuts to me. I'd, I'd stand outside with this guy named Jojo. He's a door guy. He looks like a Buddha, huge. He's, a, he's Mexican, but his eyes he can't even open anymore. They gave him a hoodie with a Buddha on it, and it said Jojo Staff. And there'd be guys just trying to come in, like, what's up, bro? Like, can you, I'll give you a hundred bucks, you let us in. And they'd be like, all right, well, you guys get in. And then sometimes they'd leave a guy behind. I remember there was a guy, every, like, every hour, there was one guy, at least for every hour, that they'd be like, well, not you, because last week you were in here starting shit. And they'd be like, come on, man, come on, man, let me in. And his boys would leave him behind. I'm like, first of all, why do you hang out with these people? They just left you, <laughs> out, literally out in the cold. You could see our breath. I'm like, what the fuck are you doing, bro? Go to another club. Go find new friends. Like, That's crazy. And they, and they sit there like, come on, man, come on, man. It's like crazy that they want to be in there. And then when they're in there, it's all about the guy who has the section, the piece of floor that's elevated Six inches higher than the rest of it on oh, the couch. Oh, like bottle service. Bottle service. The guy who has mm. a bottle. The guy showing up. People start throwing money in there, right? And I was in there. I was, you know, I was in there like a nobody, just watching. Like I just watched. I'm like, what the fuck? What is it? And then one day, uh, we started. I started getting to tour. Like, oh, is my shit still here? Yeah, you got it. We started getting to tour of October 2022, right? I didn't go out and do nothing like that. If I would go out, I'd go to dive bars. I started going to bars in New York with my buddies out there. Just fucking dive bars. I fell in love with that shit. Drinking in some place, some shitty place until 4 a.m. It was fun. <laughs> but on New Year's was my first show back home. And it was my first time selling out back home. And just, I was like, I'm going to get it out. I'm going to do that, what I saw them do, and how they used to shit on me. I'm going to do that tonight, on New Year's night. I'm going to go to a club with my friends. I'm going to get a bottle, and I'm going to just go all out, see what, see what it feels like. <laughs> and it was, it was fucking awesome for like an hour. And then people start trying to, like, test you. And I'm like, nah, bro. I'm not, I'm not fit to get into shit over... This fucking six by six foot piece of real estate that I'm never going to own. Like, How are they just, testing you? Oh, they start trying to stand on your section. So you're standing on the main floor. Right. But if you take one step back, you're six inches elevated on this right. other little platform here. Right. Which is my section that I paid like 300 bucks for for the night. And you got to like tell them, like, bro, get off my section. Or you just get, you just get more strangers on your section. Oh, no. You're right. And they're doing it on purpose. Cause it's like this ego, like I'm the man in here. Oh, no. You know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah, so it was fun for a minute, but I'm like, nah, I'd rather not do that, dude. I'd rather not do that. So it, after that, I, I, if I do go to clubs or bars, I'll never buy a section again. I'm not gonna pay extra money for elevated floor just so people can fucking try to, like I'm the man. I'm the man. Like if I'm gonna go out there, I'm gonna just get drunk. Might do some shrooms. I'm gonna have a good time no matter where the fuck I'm at. Like, I think you're better off in a dive bar. With your sensibilities, yeah. This the the reason why people do that is because they don't have other things going on. The reason why someone wants to be the guy with the corner or he's six inches elevated and wear all the gold Boy, chains change. and the big watch and all the jewelry and shit, it's because that's like the way you stand out. I will tell you what I'm gonna do though. I'm still gonna go back and shit on these people. Don't get me wrong, <laughs> but I will tell you how I'm gonna do it. How you gonna do it? I'm gonna buy the 1989 Michael Keaton Batmobile. And when they see me pulling up to that in the club or leaving in that, how can you top that? 
<laughs> you did whatever you had to do in the club. You threw your money. You looked good for the night. But your girl's probably going to want to go home with Batman, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I bet that car drives like shit. Probably, but it What does that car cool. look like? Pull up the Michael Keaton Batmobile. I don't even remember what it looked like. Is that what it looks like? Yeah. I'll paint it myself, oh, that, too. That's that been actually, one of my dreams is to paint the Batmobile. All right, I take it back. That looks pretty dope. Pretty sick, right? That thing's amazing. That's amazing. Does someone make that? No. Oh, someone makes that. That's at the Peterson. God made it. LA. Yeah, but I bet you get someone to that's make that. That's what it is. Bro, that's what you should do. Don't buy that Impala. one. Impala. They would never sell that one. It's a 67 Impala? Okay. Well, it's based off of it. Bro. Yeah. Drives oh, like shit. shit. I love Impalas. I never knew. No wonder I like that it. That thing drives like shit. You got to put a... <laughs> you got to do something with that suspension. You got to send that shit to Roaster Shop. I bet Roaster Shop could make you a Batmobile. Yeah? 100%. I'm down. Or someone like that. Like someone who does like custom work. There's some dudes out there. Look at those buttons. Pure oh, yeah. Vision.